Good evening, everybody, and welcome to another edition of The Real and the Rare. My name is Scott Morgan, Roth, the Motor City Madmouth, along with my co-host, Xavier McKnight. How are you doing, X-Man? Doing great, Scott. How are you doing this evening? Doing all right. Just getting ready to fly out to uh, Phoenix over the next seven, eight days. And, you know, maybe do a little Cactus League stuff, but just kind of getting away from southern Florida so that the Cactus uh, area will uh, take me away from the rat race of South Florida, just a different kind of rat race, only without the water. So but looking forward to a seven, eight day uh, trip. And of course, we're going to be busy, uh, Candy, Ebling and I, the rest of the month. So with that said, it looks like, what about you? How's everything going out there in Sarasota? Everything is going well in Sarasota right now. It's very peaceful. It's very quiet. And I believe we're experiencing our last cold front of the first part of the year. Because, of course, they'll be back around in late November, early December again. But I believe we're experiencing our very last cold front. And spring is right around the corner. It's going to start warming up. And uh, I'll also say this again at the end of the show, but I'll say it right now, too, to tell everybody, Remember to move your clocks forward one hour on tomorrow because daylight saving time is back. And unfortunately, we lose an hour of sleep, but it'll be more daylight outside later on in the evening. So that's a positive to take out of that. Okay, well, let's go ahead and talk about uh, what we're uh, looking at, and that's uh, Tom Brady's impending free agency. Well, Scott, I've been holding off on this for quite some time now just simply because I thought it was a possibility that it could finally happen. But, you know, you you never say never until it it actually happens or you don't actually believe it's going to happen until it does. And it still has not happened yet, but it's looking more and more like as the days continue to go by and free agency is upon us, Tom Brady will be leaving the New England Patriots. And, you know, the biggest significant sign of this actually came out for me earlier this week when an article from the Boston Herald came out saying that Tom Brady and Bill Belichick had finally spoke on the phone and it reportedly did not go very well. Now, it should be noted that ESPN's Adam Schefter came out within the next hour and immediately refuted what it was that the Boston Herald was saying. Because, obviously, that was something that got out that somebody probably didn't want to get out. But, you know, Scott, I believe what the Boston Herald has to say. I can believe that the phone call between Tom Brady and Bill Belichick didn't go well. Just simply because Bill Belichick wanted to move off of Tom Brady two or three years ago. As a matter of fact, the crown jewel in his eye, Jimmy Garoppolo, is very interesting what's going on right now. We're now starting to hear reports about possible interest of the San Francisco 49ers and Tom Brady, and an earlier report came out this week that Kyle Shanahan is also slightly intrigued by Tom Brady as well. So, Scott, I just find it very hard to believe that the San Francisco 49ers will move off of a 27-year-old quarterback who did not have the best season, but he was not terrible this season. And more importantly than anything, they came just within a few possessions short of hoisting another Vince Lombardi trophy, and for the 49ers, that would be their sixth trophy. Ultimately, they fell in the Super Bowl to the Kansas City Chiefs and Patrick Mahomes, but that is a loaded roster over there, and I believe that they'll be back for many years to come, or they'll at least be in the conversation, but I I don't think that the 49ers should be looking at a 43-year-old Tom Brady as opposed to a 27-year-old Jimmy Garoppolo, but back to the phone call between uh, Belichick and Brady, it doesn't surprise me to hear that the phone call did not go well, despite Adam Schefter coming out and refuting that report. You know, what what are your thoughts on that? Because we know how Bill Belichick feels about players in his organization, especially since he's been with the Patriots. No player is bigger than the organization in his eyes, and he likes to move off of players at least one year early before one year too late. Well, this isn't no ordinary player. All the guy's done is go ahead and get him six championship rings. So I actually kind of wonder about whether Bill Belichick is more of a, is more concerned about his ego or whether he really thinks that uh, he can win it with somebody else. So I, I'm a little bit, I have mixed emotions on this one. I can understand the millions of other players he's moved on from, but not this one. But I don't know. That's what I really honestly think. 
And, 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 and I do agree with you slightly on that because I don't believe that Bill Belichick can get just any other quarterback in that system and go win another Super Bowl. The name that's been floating around a lot lately is Andy Dalton. And he does make sense for the system they like to run. Andy Dalton is not a horrible quarterback. He's not as horrible as he has played with the Cincinnati Bengals the past few years. That's just a dysfunctional organization that people just don't talk about enough with the dysfunction within that organization and the Brown family and how they don't like to spend money on free agents. And, you you know, we can only send our best wishes to Joe Burrow, who is more than likely going to be the number one overall pick going to the Cincinnati Bengals. And we can only hope that he's able to go there and have a flourishing career. But Andy Dalton, he makes sense there if Tom Brady were to leave the Patriots. But the team that continues to make the most sense to me, if he does indeed finally make that move, Scott, I'm telling you, it's the team that has been looking like the favorite to me all along, and that's the Los Angeles Chargers. Hey, uh, Xavier, we got to re-record this thing. Uh, something's gone wrong, okay? Uh, let me just stop it. Okay.